morning, Marion. How are you? I'm just fine, thank you. It's uh, starting to feel like fall out there, uh, but I guess that's a good thing. Well, in some ways. <laughs> we like to have it warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, taking some time to visit with me this morning and uh, to hear a little bit about your story. And um, I understand you, you moved in this summer during uh, all this stuff going on. Maybe you could share a little bit of, of that experience with us. Mm hmm well, um, it started when I, when I heard that there was a vac vacancy here, and of course, then my sister-in-law was that lives here, and she went and talked to Amy, and of course, things flew. <laughs> <laughs> it uh, happened so fast that I had to stop later and think, did I really do something I should have? <laughs> because I accepted before I really, and then I got to thinking, well, I've never been in down here at all. We talked about coming last summer, my daughter-in-law and I, to check it out, and we just never got down here. And uh, I've always wanted to come here, but I never thought I would get to. <laughs> so I was really, um, felt fortunate when an opening was, and I could come and, uh, be, you know, I could, if I was accepted, and of course I was, and, and, um, and Jessica, I guess, is the one that called me first, and we talked, and she sent me a lot of information on the, on the um, uh, uh, computer, and uh, things I had to sign, and it had, everything was done, all business was done over the computer, and uh, we talked on the computer, and then my daughter in Boston got she found out that I was uh, moving in here, so she got on the phone too, and I guess she she knew the girls here better than I did, because I think she was on the phone quite a bit at a time. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was quite an experience for me, you know. We, um, where were, I, um, Mary, where decided, did you, where did you come from? Where were you living? I come from Forbes, North Dakota. Forbes. It's right on the border yeah. of uh, oh, yeah. North and South Dakota. So how yeah. is your how is your Primrose community been? Has it been kind of what you thought? You have you been here long enough to get a? I know it's been very restrictive of what you can do. I, I stop in there once in a while to see my parents and see you in there. Uh -huh. uh, is it what you expected or what you hoped it would be? Well, it isn't what I really expected fully. Uh, I knew there was a few things. I knew a few things that I was going to be able to get a meal. I knew that. <laughs> and I knew I was going to get the, some cleaning. <laughs> and that interested me. I was to the point where I wanted a little print, um, well, a little bit of uh, not working all the time, yeah. doing all my work. And so, um, but when I moved in, I didn't realize there was so many activities and things that uh, that transpire and we're just so busy all the time if we want to be and and that keeps your mind busy and yeah. and uh, I was uh, lonesome when I was by myself and this has been really a help for me I really yeah. really enjoy it well that's that's really our mission Marion is to keep you active yes. and engaged uh, you know socially mentally those are all important right and um, mm -hmm. glad you're partaking it it says you uh, you're a German cook. Uh, I'm a German too. What's what's your favorite uh, meal that you like to prepare German? Well, I years ago I made um, strudels, but that got to be too much work. Okay. But my favorite thing now was uh, nipple soup. Okay, yeah. My grandchildren, my great grandchildren, right. my children, they all love it. Yeah. And I have made it up to probably the last year or two. I haven't made it, but. But uh, they all learned are learning to make it, and then I make kuchen. I make uh, kuchen. Yes. I've, I've always made that, and that I might make before Christmas here. Okay. Well, if you make an extra one, let me know. I'd be, I'd be okay. happy to share a piece. Uh, okay. My mother's a big I'll cook too. Yeah, nifla soup is a, is a big one, and cast nifla and dumplings yeah. and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. My mother wasn't German, so we didn't make a lot of the things, but uh, we did have a few little favorites that were, the family liked. How about the uh, the staff there? Do you feel that they're, I know it's challenging, but they doing what they should be doing, or anything you'd like to share with the staff? 
there at Primrose? Well, I know, no, there's, I've, I've never been any place where the staff has been so cooperative and so compassionate and they're always interested in us. And I'll have to tell you, when my two daughters left here, they helped me move in. One is from Texas and one is from Boston. And they says, Mom, I will not worry. We will not worry about you anymore. We know you are in the best place. They said, we have never been around um, people that are so uh, considered of the people that, you know, they're working with. And they, they had high regards for this. And they still do when I talk. They say, Mom, you're so lucky. And I realize I am too. Well, we do. We got some great people working there, a great team. And I think a lot of that too is the, our Midwest values that we all still have and, and uh, mm -hmm. care, respect for each other. And glad, glad yes. to hear that. Glad to hear that. Yes, um, yes I, I'm, I'm very pleased with them. I couldn't say a bad word about any of them. They're just too good. Not because they're sitting here. But <laughs> <laughs> That's all I was wondering. I may have to pan the screen a little bit, see what they're saying. Nationally, Primrose was recognized as one of the top in the country at senior housing providers as, re as it relates to employee morale and, and culture. And uh, yeah. so we're, we're very appreciative of, of all the work all our staff do, especially yes. during these times of with the COVID. It's made it very challenging. And um, hopefully yes. uh, soon sure. we can get back to being normal, as normal as can be. And, um, but certainly do appreciate you being part of the Primrose family. I appreciate everything here, and of course I was familiar with Aberdeen. I had my sure. doctors here, and yeah. and that was a plus for me. I didn't have to drive so far; it was forty-eight miles, and right. so it's been it's been nice to be here. I can go shopping, and although they can do shopping for us, which I wasn't aware of either, <laughs> <laughs> which is very nice. Well, it's we're supposed to do spoil you a little bit, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's. That's what I told um, someone in Forbes said to me, why are you leaving? I says, I want a little bit of easy life and I want to be spoiled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Well, I'm glad uh, we're able to do that and uh, really appreciate you being part of, being active in the community too, taking advantage of, of the stuff that we're doing there. And uh, that's good. Yes. Yes. I, I'm glad there is things that we can take part in because it, Yep. It does keep us busy and keeps our minds good and busy and it's all yep. good for us. Good. I love the devotions. We have wonderful devotions. We have yep. a wonderful leader. Great. And we've been having some wonderful pastors coming in and I really enjoy that. Great. Especially if we can't go to church, church. right now. So yep. Yep. this has been really important in my life. Great. No, it so. is. It is important. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Marion. I guess I'll... Uh, Unless you have something else you want to share with me, I'll, I'll let you go. And, and But appreciate you taking the time to visit with us and uh, share some of your stories with us. Well, yes. I, uh, I Like I say, I've, I enjoy it here and I'm glad I'm here. And it was nice visiting with you.